Google Safe Search. It's a useful tool to keep your Google search results focused on what's really important to you. If you're using Google as a business tool or using it for serious things and not trying to find illicit pictures, illicit videos, and porn and that kind of stuff. However, if you go to a new Chrome tab, Google Safe Search is not an option here. It's nowhere on here. You've actually got to go to Google.com. And then when you're in Google.com, it still doesn't show up anywhere here. And it's not under settings. It probably is buried in the settings. But the easiest way to get to it is if you hopefully are logged into your Google Chrome. If you hover over your picture, click on it once. Right there it is, down below, Safe Search. Now when you click on Safe Search, you have three options. You can leave it off, show all relevant results, even if they are explicit. Blur explicit images, but show the text. Or filter out all explicit images, text, and links. Again, if you're looking for uh, content on Google, which may bring up explicit images, videos, text, links, etc., etc., and you don't want that, you want you know really more focus, then I would encourage you to, to, to filter, turn safe search on, and filter out all of that stuff. And now, when you go back to Google, and you do a search, safe search is on, and you're not going to see all that explicit content. Show you example, if I just, now that safe search is on, if I do a search for porn, I'm getting stories and conversations about the word porn, and I am not getting explicit content that I don't want. I can even feel safe enough now with safe search on that I can click on images, and I can click on videos, and again, I'm not getting explicit images and video and content that I don't want. Safe Search, very useful tool for lots of different reasons. Again, I recommend that you be logged into your Google account, you be in a Google browser, you be on google.com, and then you can click on your picture here, and safe search is an option down here. And by the way, once I've turned it on, it's right there. I can turn it off or blur explicit images, et cetera, et cetera. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy, and I hope this is helpful for you.